Hello and welcome to Toy Break Episode 4. 4. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. The search Keep for, going. for toys. Alright, um, well, let's get right to the news. Let's start out with a big thank you to Vinyl Abuse. Let's do that first, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Vinyl Abuse. They've been very supportive of us, and we appreciate um, all the mentions. And we actually have our own Toy Break section over there. So if you go over to the left on the links and to the bottom, it says Toy Break, and you can catch up on all of our episodes. So check that out, VinylAbuse.com. All right. Next up. Hasbro Contest winner. Yay! Yay! We have a winner for our Hasbro contest. So you could stop emailing us the answer, everyone. <laughs> but thank you to everybody who participated. <laughs> what was the answer? I don't know. It's on Wiki. <laughs> just look it up online. <laughs> People Why don't you like just talk about know. magazines? <laughs> I'll find the answer. Let's talk it's about Hassenfeld some... Brothers Toys. Oh, you already knew it. Or Hassenfeld Company, right? Hassenfeld, Hassenfeld Brothers, Brothers. Brothers Company. Has That's what I said. Hasbro. Oh. Hassenfeld yes. Bro. Golf clap for that. There. So anyway... So thanks to the one. winner, whose name I don't remember at this time, but you know who you are, because <laughs> we sent you stuff, and you won. And no, keep no, watching. No. We have a new contest for you, but it's like in the middle of the episode, so we'll get to that. Uh, new magazine issues. What do we got? Uh, Playtimes. Playtimes. Playtime. What else do we got? Clutter. Oh, that's right here. <laughs> And Clutter. Playtimes has an awesome um, back is Tokidoki, front is Dalek, obviously. Very cool. Well, obviously. Obviously. This is Volume 2, Issue 8. I believe that's January. And this is the first um, one. All sorts of interesting articles, as always, including um, the, the Cogs, which I used to think was Cugs, but is now I learned Cogs. Uh, Flowbots, Heatherette, uh, more CI boys, of course. Can't get enough of those. What else do we have in here? I have and no idea. <laughs> you can't even read. Um, there's an interview with Dalek, hence the cover art. If I had time to read, I wouldn't be here. Interview with David Gensler, uh, interview with Takwai, all sorts of uh, pictures, new toys, lots of good stuff in here as as always, which I've probably already said. But and that is now bi-monthly, like, right? Bi-monthly. For the year of 2007. Gorillas. Should we move on to Clutter? We should move on, because you know what? It's such a good magazine, you should go buy it and read it yourself. Playtimes. Alright, so Clutter, issue 9, um, is the Weedy Weed Studios issue. Yay, Weedy Weed! There's uh, a lot of uh, pictures with Rich Vanover. And his cat. And all of his... Uh, <laughs> all of his peeps that he works with at Weedy Weed. Um, there's interviews with Sket, Sket One, um, Kathy Olivas. This is a really hard way to see this. Yeah, what do you do? I don't know. Um, I think Brent Peters is in there. Matt, yeah, Matt L. There's pretty much all of Rich's artists that he works with are in here. Um, there's a cool Dunny show coverage from Ken Monk. Uh, KenMonk.com. It's K-E-N-N -N, Monk.com. Um, so pick up issue, uh, issue 9 of Clutter Magazine. Cover is done by uh, one of Weedy Weed's artists. Christopher Lee. And uh, the back has a bunch of his product on there. It's pretty cool looking. So you can uh, check that out at clutter, whatever they are, dot something. Cluttermagazine.com. I'm informative. You're very informative. <laughs> I also believe the uh, most recent Super 7 issue did a big Star Wars. Oh, uh, we don't have, we don't that, have one that one yet, one. but just in case you're interested, particularly good issue of Super 7, go grab it. Got Darth Vader on it. We should it. probably grab that. We probably Somebody should. should. <laughs> All right. I didn't. You should grab something. I'll, I'll work like on that. Like a magazine. Yeah. Another new thing we got. Awesome. Um, full vinyl, the book. Um, this one's this is a little different than the, the uh, Dot Dot Dash book that came out. It's a little bit more uh, informative. It has a little, some stories on each of the artists. Tells a little bit of a background of who, who each person is, how they kind of came into the vinyl toy world. It's sort of a collection of essays. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's not just shiny pictures of toys. But there's some really But there is pictures. shiny pictures of toys in here as well. So, but, Why uh, don't you show some of the shiny pictures of the toys? It's just like looking at a picture on a video. Shiny. Um, and it comes with a free uh, keychain in the front of the book. I don't know why. 
but it does. <laughs> and you can we we found that at our local comic book store. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure you can find it on Amazon.com and pretty much anywhere, anywhere that has books with words and pictures in them. But it's a good history of vinyl toys, not just picture-wise, but stories as well. Lots of mentions of uh, you know like Clutter and all the popular artists, Gary Baseman, things like that. Very Next. informative. Previews, which is buried. Stop drinking water. <laughs> okay. For anybody who isn't familiar with previews, that's probably the bag. Here we go, previews. Uh, it's just sort of a big catalog of well, toys and comics that are it's got everything in there. coming out. Uh, shirts this is and the games. shirts, games. Everything. Anything, Anything you can get at your local comic book shop, you can order through previews. This is where they get it. Everything in this there is where if they get you it. want. Um, this is the February issue, but what's cool about the February issue, and I should have had it already turned to this, is... Something cool. Stay tuned. The cool things are coming as soon as she finds it. Yeah, it's like I'm the only one. hard to find things in here. Well, it's there's a lot so There's a lot cool. of information. That's how good. Cool is coming. <laughs> I passed it? Cool is coming Where any second now. Where? I don't know. You're making things That's up. That's not what's back Get off my I think you guys should fight about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. you and George should fight about it, and then I'll join in later. Here we go. On page 445, <laughs> the first uh, designer toy collectibles section. Man, preview. that is cool. It's worth that is a for. purple I don't know if that's worth the wait. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Damn it. Um, what they're going to do, you know, it's a small section now. I'm sure it'll be growing over time. And they're finally mm. including some vinyl, and they're going to be focusing on more DIY vinyl pieces, which everybody loves, in the coming months. And each month they're going to have uh, featured items and featured artists, so informative and useful for uh, buying toys. It's cool to see that there's vinyl stuff coming into your local comic book store, a new place to get it, rather than having to order online. Very also cool. There's a lot of stuff in there that just never gets released, stuff that looks cool. You get to see the prototypes that may or may not come out. It's true. It's frustrating, true. but it's cool. That's true. They also have in the uh, last page of the designer toy section um, books like I Am Plastic and Dot Dot Dash. So, also a good way to keep informed of what's going on in the news of toys. Moving on. Uh, new website, customtoylab.com. Kind of an interesting new site showcasing just customized toys. So for those of you who are interested in what artists are doing and hacking up their toys to become, um, it's pretty cool. It's got some good pictures and they're currently having a contest to promote their new site and you can win a customized set of glow-in-the-dark zlicks uh, done by Bill Betsovic. So that's pretty cool. Just go on there and leave a comment in their blog. And they're accepting anybody that makes custom toys or customizes toys. Um, you can send in your pictures to be on their site. So it's they're accepting from artists all over the world and this is going to be a good collective website where you can go to see everybody's customs. Another way to get your art out there. And I and the cool see thing is you can rate each one. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, I was, that like I was going around. Uh, no. How hot is my custom toy? <laughs> dot com? We should get that. No. No. <laughs> Great business ideas flying out of my mouth that. all day. Um Recently there was a cool new Boba Fett, for all of you Boba Fett fans, and I know we have some. Is that new? What do you mean, is it new? It's pre-order, so it's it a, be it's new. Metacom is releasing through Sideshow a mm -hmm. part of their Raw series, which I don't remember what that stands for, but um, it's part of their Raw series. So it's a 12-inch figure, but it's not quite in scale with like a Sideshow 12-inch. It's a little bit smaller, um, but still considered 12-inch. And it was available on Sideshow Toy. Uh, com, but is now sold out. Yeah, I used to have one of those. No, this is, a new, this is a new sculpt. <laughs> I used to have one of those identical to that one. <laughs> Mysteriously disappeared. So watch eBay, because those will probably be going up on eBay soon. You know when, who when you are who took be? my figure. I don't, I don't remember when that's going out. Um, <laughs> you sound bitter. Well. Matt, bitter about toys? I, who knew? Somebody just came in and said, I'm taking that, and then I said, uh... So was man. Yeah. Shall remain nameless. <laughs> okay, um, for fans of the 
Mr. Potato Head series. You're and probably not watching this because there are no fans of Mr. Potato Head. But are you kidding me? If you're 12... Tons of fans no, of Mr. Potato eight, Head. Eight, six... Haven't you gone to I love Mr. Potato Head, head dot org? <laughs> Let's look at this picture of Optimash Prime, and we'll see if you're still a fan this is an of Mr. Potato Head. New design for Mr. Potato Head in the vein of the terrible Darth Hater. Darth, thank you, Darth. Which Tater was terrible. And the Stormtrooper. <laughs> I'm gonna be Matt for a second and tell everyone Hater. how much that sucks. Optimash Prime is a stupid <gasps> idea. That's Take awesome. Off that no truck front and put a mustache there. I'm all for that. But Look how fun that could be. No. You don't want to see little why? sneakers Wait, on the bottom? You say you don't like it, but why? I think it's retarded looking. It just You're I'm, retarded no. looking. I could be, but I'm not a Mr. <laughs> Potato Head. This is dumb. I agree. Optimash, You're retarded dumb. looking. <laughs> <laughs> Matt agrees on something. But I'm sure I'm actually indifferent. I'm all sure. of these people can <laughs> buy it. Tons of Transformer fans will buy that stupid Mr. Potato Head. Probably. Just like and Mr. Potato Head fans. Star Wars fans bought that stupid Darth Tater. I think we have a Darth Tater. I think it's time that to have some should branch that out. That one's small and cool, though. Do different produce. Different produce? Yeah, like Mr. Banana Head <laughs> or Mr. Pickle. Doesn't bottom. hold much for storage in the back. You could put a trap door on a pickle. I forgot they had storage in their butts. <laughs> Next, right. enough potatoes. McFarlane news. McFarlane has gotten the license to make How the Grinch Stole Christmas toys. Awesome. So, original How the Grinch Stole Christmas cartoon toys. Not the Jim Carrey one? Not the Jim Carrey no. one. Dang. That's what I wanted to say. They're pretty cool, I think. <laughs> I think a McFarlane who would be awesome. Cindy Lou Who. I love, cool. I love their stuff. So Grinch stealing cool. the Christmas tree. Covered in blood with one giant foot. <laughs> there will be one, yeah, one giant foot. <laughs> the creep with an enormous foot and texture everywhere on yeah. everything. All the Super Christmas packages were have texture on Lou Who. <laughs> okay, um, more CI boys. Wait a minute. Doesn't what? Cindy Lou Who wear a pink outfit? I don't know. McFarland doesn't do pink. They don't do, they pink. Don't do pink? No. None what of their the toys Simpsons? have pink. Simpsons have definitely Is there pink, pink on there? I don't know. Everywhere. I don't pay They're going to the break their old on. rule. I hate McFarland. Wait, I want to hear about this rule. <laughs> They didn't used to make anything pink. Accessories, they anything? Used to Nothing. Didn't no make pink. anything that sucked. That's true. They've changed a few things. How do you know about this rule, George? I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing about working in Tommy Farm. I heard. <laughs> Through the grapevine? Yes. Okay. Um, CI Boys. What would Toy Break be without a new bunch of CI Boys? Somehow they keep coming out. Like I wouldn't week. even want to think about what it would be without CI Boys. It would be a Do you know what a CI Boy is? World. I don't know, but. <laughs> I think it would be horrible. These are CI boys. Oh god, I hate those. <laughs> they got sweet mustaches. These are the um, World War One Peacemaker series CI boys. At least they have a gay little sailor. <laughs> um, they don't have individuals up for sale yet, but you can get a case on RedMagicStyle.com for $125, or if you pay the $150, it comes with a tank. <laughs> <laughs> Those are awesome. Look There's at a the little nurse. nurse. Those are stupid. Those are great. Little gas boy. mask guy is kind of cool. See, you like him. If he no. was pink. There's always at least one CI if boy in each line that's good. Pink sailor, then it would be accepted. Look. Oh, what? The mustache. It's wonderful. <laughs> George collects anything with a mustache. Moving on. Mustache. <laughs> and it has a mustache. <laughs> Hair on it. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. <laughs> um, McFarlane again. Uh, more 3D movie posters coming to you. Uh, you may have seen, I, d I don't know if these are out yet. They had a series in November of 2005. They had Nightmare on Elm Street, Jaws, Friday the 13th, and Alien. Basically, they took the movie poster and. It's like a low relief sculpture. Exactly. 3 d Did some company it. already do that? Some company was doing some, and then there were some Star Wars posters. They were really terrible. And they were really, really bad, and the <laughs> yeah. sculpting was terrible. But the McFarlane ones actually look pretty good. They, the yeah. Yeah, I saw the name of an Elm Street one. It looks alright. And then um, they also I don't have think anybody ever needs one of those. Look at the Rocky, the Rocky Horror Picture Show one. Is uh, Well, coming out early this year is Rocky, Robocop, and Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's stupid. And, uh, that's awesome. That's gonna, that's dumb. Just that's a big, great. giant lip. Lips? That's no different than the original poster. <laughs> Except it's 3D. Well, it's 3D. It's just a tiny bit more three-dimensional. <laughs> that's stupid. You can make out with it. Out of all the posters. <laughs> Finally, something that will make out with you. Ugh. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I could have any poster I wanted. I'm cute. <laughs> anyway, 
anyway, you can check out Spawn.com, of course, for more information on those. Um, another cool statue coming out soon. Uh, for anybody who isn't a comic book fan, you should be. And you should definitely read <laughs> Marvel Zombies. Woo! Marvel Zombies. Shiny. This is the old line that came out last year or the year before. I don't even oh, know. Oh, it's so old. old. Sometime. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> They're on like the fourth printing of each Jeez. book, or They're fifth printing. They're on the printing. third printing of each book, I believe. Whatever. There's also um, like an anthology with all the all five sets. Don't bend it so much. Who cares? It's a comic. <laughs> oh, God, book. don't breathe directly on the paper. You're looking at it too hard. Oh no, it's a comic. No, no, book. no! You ruffle the staples. If I can't bend your magazines, you can't bend the comics. Okay. Thank you. So we'll look at these comics now. So it's a great series, but anyway. There is a Don't based you know on the be worth a billion dollars someday. <laughs> based on the cover of this one, which is issue number five of five, um, Marvel Milestones Zombie Spider-Man and Mary Jane statue. You should buy it just for the RV ad on the back. <laughs> There's a, a lot of movie. ads in comics. Holy too. guacamole! How would he have driven his RV onto the top of that mountain? <laughs> I can't even imagine. I saw that movie on a plane, and it I'm still sorry. sucked. <laughs> you saw a movie about. Disastrous RV trip on a plane. Yeah, yeah, and it still sucked. So the Spider-Man and Mary Jane statue, which is really cool, was sculpted by Rudy Garcia. It's limited to 2,000 pieces. Its uh, suggested retail price is $125. And although I don't know exactly when it's coming out, it will be in the March issue of previews. So order it from previews so that it actually gets made. Exactly. It's a pretty damn cool statue. Mm, yeah, it's all right. Matt loves it. it made Why does he have such a muscular chest? He's That's what happens when you he's get imbued with no zombie powers. He's no face, but he has rock hard abs. Heck yeah! Alright. That's fine. And Let's just go with it. There's a whole reason he kept his mask on. Because nobody knows that he's a zombie. No, I'm not gonna give it away because it's an issue four. Uh, so read it. I'll never read it. <laughs> Matt can't read. Nor do I care <laughs> to. Um Hasbro Marvel Legends Wave Two. This one includes Yellow Let's Jacket, find a picture for an hour. She Hulk, <laughs> Thor, <laughs> Ultimate Wolverine, Quicksilver, X3 Juggernaut, okay. Jean Grey, and Zorn. Yeah. And each comes with a piece of the blob to build. And you can pre order these on Entertainment Earth. And they're pretty crappy looking. Especially the Jean Grey, that one's particularly I know. insulting. That must have been, been done by like a beginning sculptor. Some sort of. Some hack. Turdmonger. <laughs> Who knows? Not the best looking series. Anyway. Certainly. And the packaging changed from Marvel Legends early lines, so if you want to keep them all together on your shelves in the package, it doesn't look good anymore. Yeah. Boo. Who keeps their toys in packages? Boo Almost on that. everybody that buys these Marvel Legends. If you keep your toy in the package, you're an asshole. If you've ever opened a Marvel Legends, you'd never buy another one. <laughs> but they're, <laughs> they're terrible. They're cool. Would you like to talk about that, George? No, I would not like okay. to talk about this. We My foot love... doesn't do that. Does your foot do that? <laughs> I'm not a mutant. I don't have blue fur. Nor do I wear a short vest. Okay. I've seen you wear a short vest. <laughs> Not in public. Oh, no yeah. yellow stripes. That's stupid. <laughs> Come on, last piece of. This is all this is. you. This is um. There's some uh, interesting plush selections available on Octane3.com. Oh, since this is our plush site. episode. It's a somewhat plush. Plush inspired. Episode. <laughs> so uh, there's some cool stuff up on their site. Again, that's Octane3, the number three, dot com. And they have, of course, Circus Punks. They have some custom pieces by Matt. I'm not going to make an inappropriate comment about the black ugly doll. <laughs> <laughs> you can if you want. No, that would be insulting. To the black ugly doll? Yeah. Okay. Why it's got to be black? <laughs> it covers ears. Um, Shaunimals. Uh, there's also Crumps by Miscellaneous. Pretty interesting. Shaunimals. Crumps. Custom. Custom plush, no, if you're into that kind the of thing. Scrumps. Not the scrumps. Crumps. The crumps. Like, let's get crump with it. Oh. Let's never say that again. <laughs> <laughs> and those look to be about 12 pounds, which should be about 20 to 24 dollars in the U.S. So go check those out. Or don't. Yeah, you don't really have to. I mean, if you want to, you can. That'd be pretty fun. I think uh, it's time to introduce Matt. A new, a new yeah. section for Matt. So, uh, welcome to the first edition of... What are we calling it? Call it? It's going to be a 
ten part series. <laughs> ten parts? Ten, <laughs> Only ten, ten parts. I have a lot of hatred. Ten part series of what I hate about toys. <laughs> okay, Matt. I've been let's get to getting. I've been real busy. Let's Toy introduce Fair this. And I don't have anything to review. It's every year Toy Fair month. I get like 20 projects to do, so I don't have anything to review, and I didn't get anything for our How to Sculpt series done. So we're going to rant. So I'll just talk about everything I hate about toys. I'm excited about this segment. Starting with the words, limited edition. Okay. Let's take you to that now. Here you go. There's one thing I hate. Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. So, limited edition. Started out innocent enough. People were putting limited edition on their low run Franklin mint plates commemorating sea biscuits, whatever of something or other. But people thought it was a good marketing ploy, so it started escalating and escalating. Started out like, you know, you do a run of 50 pieces and it meant it was a very limited edition, very low run. You used to mean something, it was very limited. But now people are making editions of 10,000 or 20,000, putting limited edition. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. It doesn't mean a goddamn thing. I think everybody on the planet is quite aware you're not going to be making your ALF tea cozies for eternity. Eventually, one day, you'll stop. The edition will cease. <laughs> We won't have any more Superman back scratchers. <laughs> They'll stop after 70,000. You don't need to limit the edition. Doesn't mean a fucking thing. <laughs> Nobody wants. Never mind. Anyway, limited edition, it's complete and utter bullshit. If you're going to make 50 pieces, go ahead and put limited edition. If you're going to hand number it, or make 1,000 or 50, I'm so sick of seeing. Burnt Anakin toaster strudels, limited edition, whatever, mouthwash. Nobody wants to see your Power Ranger toothpaste, limited edition. And I know we're guilty of putting limited edition on some of our products, but those are on things that are hand numbered, very low runs. I'm not sure what else to say about limited edition. Don't do it. it doesn't mean a fucking thing. You're not fooling anybody. You know, the planet itself is limited edition. Mankind is limited edition. Computers are limited edition. Cars, they're all limited edition. <laughs> Eventually we're going to run out of trees and water and oxygen and people named Horatio. They're all limited edition. The end. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Was a limited. Oh, limited. That was funny. That time uh, you said something. That, that something. That rant was really limited edition of one. That will be one up on our site. Rant for a limited time. It's only going to be one in the edition, hand numbered. Welcome back. Okay, we're back from Matt's rant. That was stupid. <laughs> Stay tuned for future episodes. We have nine more of those coming. <laughs> I have a feeling it won't be a limited edition of only ten, though. Maybe I'll have more to say. <laughs> I might talk about articulation next, or you don't collectible. Know. Could be anything. You've got time to think I hate about so it. So much about toys these days. Let's move on. Let's move on <laughs> from the um, hatred. Let's move on to something positive. Let's go to our uh, mini recapsulation, if that's a word. Recapsulation. <laughs> You can buy those like a store, a recapsulation now. toys. <laughs> For like a dollar? Yeah, a little yeah, gumball those machine. Those are fun, little um, homies. All right. Plush Week 2 at Gallery 1988 in Hollywood. It was an awesome time. Many fun things were had, and uh, we'll take you to a few little video clips now.
Welcome back again. Um, that was a good show. That was a lot of a lot of cool things yeah. at that show. And there were free brownies with little robots in uh, powdered sugar that were very tasty. I didn't eat one, but it was tasty. There was some cool plush. There, there was, was one plush. Cool plush. Did you remember seeing the one? I don't know if it's on the video where it's like a plush ground, plush piece of ground oh, yeah, yeah, with yeah. like little plush turnip guys inside of it, and you can pull them out. That was very cute. Was I liked the idea. big dolphin that was Ooh, um, like wall. half a person size. Yeah, that was cool. I think it was a dolphin. It had his tongue sticking out. And Jack was there. Hello, Jack. And the giant robot. So it's good stuff. Robot I wasn't girl. invited. No. Yes, you were. Oh. You just don't like us. I don't like you guys. Oh, yeah. Because we do stuff that you don't like. So speaking of more plush, <laughs> let's talk about this little guy. Let's talk about him. Yay, he's cute. And green. Wow, he's really green. <laughs> it's like Mountain green. Dew green. So, this little guy was made by um, a girl named Serena Cool, or Call Cool. Let's, Let's go, go with, with cool. cool. I'm going with cool. Let's go cool. Serena Cool. Um, and he's part of the Bad, Bad Bunnies Bunny. line that uh, she's currently making. Each one of these bunnies is handmade by her. And uh, actually, read this little story right here. Which one? This, um, one? this one here, about what the Bad Bunnies are. Okay, well this particular one is Gimp Bunny. Again, from the Bad Bunny series. Um, they're all handmade from polar fleece, fake fur, and vinyl. That's why he's so shiny. Vinyl. Um, they're created as a response to the widespread knowledge that feral animals introduced by European settlement of Australia have a, have a devastating impact on the Australian environment, and that it's funny to do dumb things to bunnies, which we all agree with, of course. Um, at the moment, they are available at Wootini, Pink Ghost, and Nasty Vinyl in the UK, and they but retail. But don't go to Wootini to buy them. <laughs> and that's PinkGhost.net. And they retail for $25 US, which is a good price for awesome, a custom... Yeah, awesome deal, especially since they're all push. handmade. And they're cool because it's... It, I mean, from holding him from the front, he looks like he's all vinyl. He's got little... Uh, what's that? Embroider kind of fabric stitched, stitched for the mouth. On his eyes. Um, yeah, cool eyes with actual 3D texture. But then you turn him around, and he's got the cute little fur sticking out behind him with his little fuzzy butt. Just like George! <laughs> so, uh, oh, God. I didn't need to know that. I didn't need to hear that either. <laughs> But uh, so there's all sorts of different ones in the line. This is just one of the one of the many. Um, and they each have a little story. Would you the, like to read Gimp Bunny's story? Uh, I think you just did. No, I didn't. Oh, Gimp Bunny. Gimp Bunny was a well-adjusted child who got in with the wrong crowd at school. He started he started out having a cigarette behind a bike shed and ended up with him living in a full bu full body vinyl suit and living in a box. Oh. <laughs> I box. 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 <laughs> Living in a box in his master's garage. It's that easy, so don't smoke. See what happens when you smoke? Jesus, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so don't smoke. But there's a little story with each bunny, which is pretty fun. And uh, if you go to our Toy Break MySpace page, uh, she's on our top friends right now, so you can check out her stuff and get a link to her Flickr page and get a link to her different uh, her different websites. Can you that imagine would be... how many people are in boxes right now? Because they, they smoke. smoke. Or in vinyl do. suits. Who would have known? So this uh, guy's really cool. Thank you very her, much, Serena. Her Flickr page is flickr.com slash photos slash pocti. That's P-O-C-T-I. Or pokti. And it's got a lot of cool things. There's one one plush that she made is really cool. It's like a TV that's all like fuzzy on the front, but with a guy like poltergeist sticking out. Really awesome. So go check it out. You'll see what I mean. A lot of cool, uh, lot of cool plush on her site. I like the trend in custom uh, plush recently. I'm oh, sorry. There we go. Custom one of a kind plush. Yeah, it's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Limited edition. Although honestly, if you're gonna make a, <laughs> if, it does if not you, say limited edition anywhere on her thing. If you're gonna make a plush though, don't think that you can charge $150 unless it's as big as me. Right. Because I think $25 is very reasonable. Unless it for that includes some plush. sort of gold coins or diamonds or a hundred dollar bill in it okay. somewhere. Okay, I can understand that. But, I mean, what would you pay for a custom plush? Maybe up to 50? Yeah, maybe up to 50. 50, 60? It's got to be awesome. Yeah. Super awesome. So I think these, so are, these great. are great deals. $25. $25. Can't beat that. Awesome. So now that we're still in our review section, let's, uh, let's do something fun. 
Let's review stuff. Here's a new thing we're gonna do. Looks like a box it's of new. anthrax. It's called open a blind box. Yay, open blind box. We all know what blind box is. It's when the toy you're getting, you have no idea what's inside uh, out of the ones in the series. And that makes it extra fun because you have to buy a lot of them to get the one you want. Yay, and they're always expensive. It's extra, <laughs> extra fun because Matt has no idea what these look like ever anyway. So. No idea. Matt? This is milk, guys. This thing's cool. So we are going to open up a Mufia each. Where did we buy these? Uh, I believe we got these ones from. Roto Fuji. Roto Fuji. But I you can. I don't think Thanks. they have them right now. Um, they're six ninety nine. You can still get these on TenaciousToys.com and 3DRetro.com. And you got to open them like you used to your milk in school. No, oh, I didn't. I didn't do that. That's how I used to drink my milk in school, and then you drink it out of the corner. Uh, I ripped mine. <gasps> I got a baby bottle. I got Chaco. I got green <gasps> soya milk. I, I got green or brown Chaco. I mean, I got I, soya. I got a chocolate milk one. This is I got I jacked. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun of blind box. You can trade with your friends when you don't get the one you want. When they least expect it. <laughs> Mine has a teardrop. Yay. That's because you're crying because you got that new. one. <laughs> <laughs> so these are small. I mean, I knew they were small, but... They're cute and small. Like One thing I didn't know about these was that they were wing size. Hard, ABS yeah, hard ABS plastic. Yeah, certainly are. You're right. Mine's got a little have you seen me on the back. Does yours have that? I have that with the little green Tokidoki Mine dog. Tokidoki Bastardino. Heart. Bastardino. Mine has a little guy that looks like the blind skateboard logo. I want the pyramid milk. Ooh, Triangular mean? one. Well, well, we just so happen to have that. I'm not going to buy enough to get it. If you'd like to look at oh, it right here. Soya. Hey, look. It's super here. cute. I'd that's say these cool. are about two and a half inches, yeah? Hey, we got two baby bottles. And another baby bottle. That's also that. the bad thing about blind boxes. You get doubles. You end up with doubles. But Matt's going to take one But then you can trade with your friends. I'm going to take any of these stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> super cute. Good job, Tokidoki. Good job, Simone. They're very cool. Oh, he's got a little tail. Six ninety nine. Well worth it. Well worth the fun. See how much fun it is to open blind box? And they smell like sour milk. No, they don't. I actually smelled it like I thought it would. <laughs> Damn it, I'm stupid. It just smells like plastic. George is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's next? Danger Mouse. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. Does anybody remember Danger Mouse except us? I'm sure Michael Names. Norman does. Everybody <laughs> remembers Danger Mouse. Does anybody remember Michael Norman? Yes. Hey, that guy's farting. No. Yes, he is. All right, Danger Mouse. Is that pen fold? Okay, these were done by a group called Concept Group, and their website is con conceptgrouponline.co.uk, and they made six Danger Mouse statues to commemorate the 25th anniversary of... Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse. Um, this is awesome because I've been waiting for Danger Mouse toys. Danger Mouse. And while this isn't a toy, it's nope, still Banana awesome. <laughs> so, Man, check it out. You Nobody can see. remembers Banana Man but me. I remember Banana so, Man, but I'm talking about, okay, talk about Danger Mouse. Okay, talk about Danger Mouse. So this is the uh, this is the best one in the line, if you ask me. It's the old boom, <laughs> the old boom. Ah, yeah, the they had on the boom. show with Danger Mouse and uh, Pinfold running away. But Pinfold looks like he's shooting a blast of fire out of his crotch. He's <laughs> running in that speed wind. Right out of his groin. That's wind. That's where you run from. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So this is, uh, we bought these off of uh, Concepts of Creation, like uh, Aileen said, um, from Tony, the who, the guy who uh, the sculpted this. So Do it. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> All right, so um, Tony, who sculpted these, uh, actually started at, uh, or not started, but he worked at one point at Ardman Animation. So he's got a, a pretty good background of sculpting, and uh, these are really great looking Danger Mouse pieces. If you're a fan of Danger Mouse, I suggest you go get them. Even if you're not, go buy them. Danger so, Mouse is not as cool as Count Duckula. Count Duckula is good. Did you have the Count Duckula comics? No. I had those. I had a little PBC anyway. figurine. I don't know if that one up to my comics. Let me make more Count Duckula. So they have, uh, besides the boom, they also have the Danger Mouse. Which is cool. Colonel K. That guy's oh, dumb. Oh, oh, he looks oh, like oh, George. <laughs> <laughs> um, the boom, of course. Greenback and Nero. Which, the only thing I'm sad about this one is I wish the Nero had been, uh, like a little plush because he always bounced up and down. Right. 
so that would have been cute. Um, stiletto. Of course. The bad guy. The bad guy. And the frog's head flyer. That one was a little iffy of that choice for like me, but... ejaculating. <laughs> 33.99 pounds, which translates to 20 to 45 dollars U.S. Which is real reasonable for a nice very reasonable. Resume. They call Statue. that cold cast porcelain. We'll talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, very cool. If you're a fan, go to the site, order some. Uh, more CI boys. Like I said, what's Toy Break without CI boys? There's more. Do you have those metal masters? I do. Awesome. Let's open them. I do They're have right them. There. there they are. <laughs> we keep everything just off screen. At our fingertips. Our vast warehouse. So they have a whole bunch of these, of course. Uh, this is from the Metal Masters series. Check it out. It's awesome. What is this? Is Misfits. It Misfits style. Yeah. It is. That's funny. They got, look at that, Buckethead from uh, Buckethead. <laughs> I think he's in Guns N' Roses now. Is he? Yeah. I don't know. Well, that makes sense because they so. have a couple of the Guns N' Roses. They have Slash and Axel yeah. in here, too. So they have 14 of these little guys. Who likes porn? Me? Um. Oh. <laughs> somebody. I don't know who that is. Uh. And they all have They're little buttholes. Cute. Yeah. All the CI boys. Everything needs All the CI boys have little buttholes. They used to have little keychains you could stick in their buttholes, but that, I don't know what happened to that. They There's stopped keychains? doing that. They used to be little metal keychain buttholes. The only thing I have about this series is this one guy has the little uh, mohawk that you can put on it. It doesn't stay as well as some of the other hats. But I mean, that's such a minor, minor complaint. You should get your money back. For such a fun toy. And I love his little plaid pants, look. Yeah, those are all right. Here, look. <laughs> wow, plaid pants. <laughs> I just got okay. your CI boy sick. Oh, get the Lysol. We don't have the lost one there. Would you like to talk about... Let's talk about Lost. Lost? Let's talk about Let's Lost. Talk about we Lost, were talking about McFarlane earlier. Yes. Um, here's a line that I think they did really well with. Or really well sculpting, I guess. Well, Go ahead and hold those up. Uh, here's... Uh, oh my god! Oh, this is a two-person <laughs> job. You can handle it. Stop! Wait! The numbers are bad! Go ahead. Don't ever tell me what I can't do! Ever! That one's loud. I love it. <laughs> but uh, each one comes in a little window box with a flap that shows you one of their accessory pieces, which is, um, in Hurley's case, it came with the um, lottery ticket with the lost numbers on it, the actual reproduction of their lottery ticket. If you don't watch Lost, you have no idea what we're talking about, but if you do, you and, know what we're talking about. And um, Locke came with a poster for the walkabout that he went on, or that he tried to go on he if you watch the show. On. He yeah. didn't, didn't go on. Um, but these are, uh, I don't know, these are cool pieces. I really like the... Yeah, they're done from full from scans. body scans and yeah. head scans. And uh, they're Usually done well. people don't know how to use scans very well. Some companies out there who are scanning who don't really know how to apply scanning technology to their final product. And, but, Some uh, or many. Uh, there's a couple. There's a few. There's a but few. these actually look really good, I think. Yeah, they're good use of scanning. I really Subtle. like the Hurley, but the lock is particularly dead on. Like... That's Curly's good for you. pretty accurate too. Mm. The only like complaint I have is that they're enormous. The only complaint yeah. I have is they could have incorporated the voice chip into the base <laughs> yeah. very easily, rather than making yeah, a giant there's box. Just this big box that hides behind it. Yeah, but listen how loud it is. You want to know a secret? That one's kind of. It's dumb. I think they should have instead of having oh, voice oh, chips, they could have light in locks. Thing. Yeah, that would have been. Cool. Put his Watch it! Hey, I'm trying to review something here. <laughs> Sorry, Matt, I got in the way of the toy. Trying to put his face, like, from the hatch, a little hatch there. But, you know, they could have spent that money and put it in a light or have Hurley do something different. The money thing, that's actually one thing about these. I would have rather not have a voice chip and paid 10 bucks yeah. Yeah. rather than paying $15 for this expensive. thing. expensive. Because who's really playing with their voice box? Yeah, nobody. You, you, you touch it every time you walk by. Because I'm getting my money's worth. If they're just selling you this, no <laughs> voice chip, you could have a package this big yeah. instead of a huge yeah. box. There's also a piece no. in the series that they have the um, the hatch, not the one with lock, but they have the hatch where everybody's diorama. looking around it. Yeah, it's not a diorama with small <laughs> figures. <laughs> but, but they're all like half the size of these figures, so I'm not really sure why it wasn't made in scale. Because the diorama would have been this big. Well, I know it would have been big, but if the box it's for one such guy a weird thing to have. Giant. Yeah. A different thing completely. Cute stuff, though. And while we're on Good toys that come from the uh, Toys R Us, 
I also have this guy. What do you got? Oh, yeah. New Ninja Turtles? Seen New this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the movie. Are they Playmates? Or Here we go. Playmates. Playmates. Here we go. Let's open it. Let, actually, Matt, yeah, you let's, open it. Let's tear Let's this talk up. about Ninja Turtles. Review of the packaging. No limited edition. Must be worthless. <laughs> they came out in the 80s. <laughs> no point keeping it in the box. And they were pretty cool. Yeah, the original toys, they were, they were what they were. They were... Cartoony and fun. Figures. They match the cartoon. Then, Nobody needs this many twist ties. It's not a no. <laughs> It's not a real Ninja Turtle. It's not going to go. How many? Anywhere. Count the twist ties. How many do we have? Two on each limb, and one for his accessory. One for his neck. Anyway. All right. So. There we go. That's a toy for you. Now. <laughs> The ones they they remade the Ninja Turtles again just a couple years ago. Yeah, they revamped the Ninja Turtles to look almost exactly like they did, but slightly worse. Yeah, just than the original. Smoother and stupider. And now they put them out again. Bless you. They're revamping them. They've redone them again to match the movie, but yet again they don't <laughs> look like what they're supposed to look no, like. They, they look just like look like the, the same characters. crap that they've already done. Movie characters have actual anatomy and they're very dynamic. They look fleshy and real, but these look like stupid sculpts. So I don't know who's in charge over Playmates or who's actually doing these sculpting, but come on. We've yeah. advanced so far with action figures and toys. Let's start making things look right. They're ninjas. Come on, give them double elbow articulation. You have an elbow pad right there. You can hide plenty of articulation in. Yeah. You can give them... Ooh, trade secret. Some... Movement, Some movement in the legs so you can get into a running pose. You can maybe make the head look like the Ninja Turtle? That might help a little bit. <laughs> so somehow they're getting worse as time goes on. The only good Ninja Turtle toys that ever came out were the Movie Star line. Remember that? Yeah, those were cool. Movie Star, Dawn, and Raph. Yeah. They were soft rubber, really textured skin, really good paint. Those were amazing sculpts. These? I like the uh, collectible no statues now. from the comics that we have. Yeah, those room. are good, but quite expensive and shiny. A little expensive, but very good. So as a Ninja Turtles fan, I've been let down yet again with their toy line. They and that's the only one to buy. They're looking to sell this to a five-year-old who wants to put it in the bathtub and smash it against a wrestler or something. Who said I won't play with it in the bathtub if it was cool? Go right ahead, but that's not. <laughs> this isn't for you. This is for some kid. It's not no kid in elementary school. Give a shit. You gotta make the price point so that the uh, parents will buy it. So there yeah. you go. Let down on the Ninja Turtles again. Maybe McFarlane or somebody will get the license eventually and do them that look like turtles that are ninjas. You still like haven't gotten the, the twist eyes off that thing. No. I'm working <laughs> on it. Maybe by the next Maybe episode. by the next time, next toy we'll review. Next? Uh, next up, kind of an odd little thing we found at, um, Thank where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> At um, Ikea, for those of you who may or may not be familiar with Ikea, it's a big uh, Swedish yeah. uh, furniture store, and they make wonderful cheap furniture and fun little gadgets like this, little kid's light, or adult light if you're an adult and you buy it. Or vinyl toy. Or vinyl toy. just want to have it because it's cool. It's, um, it's called Spooka, S-P-O with a little umlet, K-A. And you can find this in the children's section of Ikea. Unfortunately, it's not available on the website, but they're super cute, so if you live near an Ikea, go check them out. There's a green one, a blue one, and a red one. And Each one is shaped a little different. They're only twelve ninety nine. Super cute. They're kind of rubbery. No, oh, blue one's cool. And uh, they're rechargeable, so every night you can go in and click them on. Say, okay, I got into bed. Not Come only off. is it twelve ninety nine and it's rechargeable, but it actually comes with the recharger. I mean, everything is included. Yeah. You don't need to have anything to do. In this cute little it. bag. In this cool designer bag. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. I think they're fun. And it's surprisingly bright in your room. So you're like, hey, I need to go to the bathroom. Click. In your room? And carry it with you. In my room, it's surprisingly bright. But you, Did you go, go to the, the bathroom, bathroom in your, your room? room? Yes. Oh. What, you don't have a bucket in the corner? George, uh, never mind, we'll get to that story. <laughs> it has a ball-jointed head, and it doesn't move. <laughs> it doesn't do turtles. anything. Come on! I like when Playmates. people include articulation that has no purpose. Stupid. Articulation for the sake of articulation. Why has he got a soft belly? Alright, let's move on. No, let's keep talking about the Ninja Turtle. Kingdom of Loathing. You want to grab the toys? Let me grab those All toys. Right. 
So, uh, again, if you haven't been to kingdomofloathing.com, it's a very cool, <laughs> if by cool you mean odd and time-consuming, um, online, text-based, careful with that, text-based RPG, but it's super funny, and it doesn't take a lot of time, and you can play it or not play it each day if you want. Uh, they finally came out with their first line of little toys based on an in-game series called Tiny Plastics, but these are actually tiny resins. And, uh, these were twenty four ninety nine for a set of four. That's a... Naga hide. Spooky mushroom. Baby gravy fairy. Whatever. <laughs> a bugbear. <laughs> and whatever this is. <laughs> it's That's a, a saber tooth lime. Well, of course it is. Don't be silly. <laughs> and they're about two and a half You know how you inches. get a saber tooth lime? I you get a lime and a saber's tooth, well, and you mix them with meat paste. Well, of course. And you get a saber tooth lime. I should probably mention that uh, it's a <laughs> stick figure based game. So there's no fancy graphics to slow your browser down. This is a game at the speed of the Fast. internet. And um, they're super cute, and the currency in the game is meat. So you have to earn meat to go do things and buy things in the game. Fun little series of toys, fun game. Kingdomofloathing.com. Go play it. Try it once, and you're hooked. So It's true. It's, awesome. it's free to play. You don't have to, to do anything. It's, it's great. We love those guys. It awesome game. It is great, isn't it? Life is great, Matt. Is it? Toys are great. All I do is work on toys. I have no life. Speaking of great... Yes, yeah, speaking of great, would you like to introduce our feature, Matt? What's our feature? It's an interview. An interview? Oh, we well, should mention be before darned. we do this, we are not having the sculpting portion of this episode. Um, I already mentioned that. I already mentioned that. Before because we Matt didn't... We're, we're not, not having we're not a sculpting ready. episode I've because we're going to do it when we can get to it. I've been each sculpting episode. actual toys. Well, just in case someone thought we were going to do them all in a row. Well, that person would be silly. We're going to do them as we get we to them. So it's coming up. Caddy Wampus. <laughs> but we will, get, we will get back to it. Anyway, enjoy an amazing interview with Queenie from Pockville Posies. Hi, I'm Hideous Boy, and this is... Who are you? I'm Queenie. From? Pocket Full of Posies. And you make posies? Characters? Yes, yes I do. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> so why the name Pocket Full of Posies? Well, all my characters have plant and flower names, and one day I felt like they needed to be put in a group, so I just thought Pockful of Posies because it's sweet and it's deadly. Like your characters. Like my characters, exactly. Well, of course. So what kind of products have you made? Posies products. Well, we have stickers and... And pins. And pins. All kinds of pins. And postcards. And pins. Very, very, very cute postcards. And prints. You've made these prints. Prints. You can buy... On my website. These are new ones. Ooh, look at that. This so one's nice. my favorite. Oh, well, relax. It's got pink. I like very, pink. very cute. Very cute. And t shirts. And t shirts. Wait, 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 wait. T shirts. Let me hold one. Okay. You hold on. That. This one's my favorite. Oh, I like that one. Better. No, you like this one. That one's my favorite. That's what we I said. Parts. Shirts. Shirts. Like this. And the fa my favorite. What else you got? Is my very first doll. We made these dolls. Leonia. Very cute. Nice glossy black box. How many of these did you make? One thousand. And look, they have the number on the bottom box. This Cat is number, number. eight thirty-two. So where can people buy Posies merchandise? Well, you can buy it on my website, pocketfullofposies.com. How do you spell posies? P-O-S-I-E-Z. No S at the end, or it'll take you to a crafty website. <laughs> <laughs> really, for real. <coughs> well, well, that's unfortunate. Well, and also, uh, this kind of stuff, the postcards, and the pins, and the shirts that we held up are at Hot Topic right now for Valentine's Day. It's very exciting. How convenient. Mm-hmm. But not all Hot Topic. Well, consult your own hot topic before going out. 
Yeah. Or you could still go out. And you could buy a postcard and you could send it to me. <laughs> so how do you create your characters? What's the process? Well, I draw it on a pad of paper with a pencil. A sketch pad? A sketch pad. Yeah. Very, 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 very sharp pencil. Can you and do then, a sketch? Well, a sketch. Yes. Okay. Then what happens? And then I scan it into the computer and I clean it up with Photoshop using a tablet and a pen, which I absolutely love because if you make a mistake, it's a lot easier. Everything getting stuff all over the place. So, how does Photoshop differ from traditional sketching in your sketchbook? Well, what are the main differences? Uh, well, just like I said, it doesn't make a mess. <laughs> There's no pencil. <laughs> There's shaving. no pencil shavings. But it, draw, drawing on a tablet is pretty much the same as drawing on a. Just like using a yeah. pencil. Yeah, it's just like using a pencil. You flip it over, it's got an eraser. You just have the advantage of being able to move some stuff around or so making cleaner lines. How long would something like this take from start to finish, from sketch to oh, this print? That actually took me probably about four hours. From first sketch? What about yeah. this? But. That took a lot longer because actually I did this house separately. The, two, the house I did a lot bigger and it took about six hours just for the house. Just so, Photoshop? Yeah. That's quite a long time. Yes, but it's fun. So, who are some other artists that you admire? I really admire Andy Warhol. Why and do you admire Andy Warhol? Well, I like that whole period where his, very, his lives are very clean and bold. And his pop style. Yeah, really like that. And just himself as a character, I absolutely love. And I love Lucille Ball, even though she's not a painting artist or illustrator, because she is an ama was an amazing businesswoman as well as hilarious. Who else? Who else? One more. One more. Like what? Like an actor? Just anybody, okay. any kind of artist. I'll say Gary Oldman. Why Gary Oldman? Because every character that he plays is is that character. It's not like Keanu Reeves playing Keanu Reeves Keanu in a different Reeves. movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, some people are into that. Oh, oh yeah. Not me. Me. Ugh. Who would win in a fight? That wasn't one of the questions. This is a surprise question. Oh great. Who would win in a fight? Salvador Dali's mustache, oh, or Andy Warhol's wig. They're really, really uh, pissed and duking it out. But Mustache versus wig. Andy Warhol had more than one wig, though, so if okay. the wig... His 80s silvery yak wig versus Salvador Dali's giant well, pointy mustache. Well, see, he's got... Now, don't tear apart my windows. I'll do what I want. He's got... The, the mustache, it's got the sharp ends. The jags. Yeah, so it totally could like just stick the wig. But the wig could cover and smother. I don't know. We'll have to see. Can we? Well, the battle for the future starts now. All right, next question. Where do you see the posies in 10 years? Well, I hope to see the whole line of dolls, um, all the characters, and it would be a dream if they could be a cartoon and books, pop-up books and coloring books, and... More apparel? Yeah, like, oh, I want it to a whole fashion line. Posey's fashion line. So what doll fabulous. are you planning on doing next? Panty the Pirate. What's she going to come with? She's going to come with a treasure chest, and what? A little skeleton key, maybe? Oh yeah, a little key. <laughs> key, yeah. Alright. So what kind of people are fans of posies? I'm finding that there's 
Everybody is wide variety. A very wide variety. I have, you know, older women that really like composies. They like the dolls. I have a lot of little eight-year-old girls. I don't know why it's eight, but eight-year-old girls like the Leonia. It's so cute. It's the magic number. So, are you surprised by the diversity of your fan base? Um, not really, because um, they're just so sweet, and they are a little bit deadly, but it, it's it's so subtle that I think that it, um... It's not vulgar. It's not and grotesque. vulgar and gro Yeah, exactly. And, you know, everybody just has that little tiny cuckoo, cuckoo, you know, and that... Just enough of cuckoo for, you know, just like everybody to enjoy it pretty much. All right. Well, pirates or ninjas? Pirates. Why? Because they're cuter. Oh. You can't see a ninja's face. Maybe they're just really ugly. That's why. Pirates are cuter. Not super fab. Exactly. They don't wear any jewelry. Right? <laughs> ninjas? Yeah. I don't know. I've never met one. I don't think anybody ever meets a ninja. No. So what advice do you have for young artists? Just starting out, not really sure what they're doing yet. What well, would you tell them? One thing that I've learned is definitely always call yourself an artist. Never doubt your artwork. If you doubt your artwork, you just forget it. Don't deny that you are an artist. Exactly. Just accept it. Exactly. And run with it. Because then you'll grow. No self-deprecation? You're giving my answers for me. But they're good ones. They're, good. they're very good. What do you want people to know about the posies? Any fun facts or interesting features? A background story? Um, this is your last chance to tell the world. <laughs> the entire world. Oh, that's right. What about posies you want them to know? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think this is a question that I could think of a good answer for. Well, they're cute. But we all know they're cute. And they're just sweet. Think you can already see that they're cute and sweet. And they're not based on horror characters like many other like pseudo goth characters are. They're not, you know, they're not influenced by movies. Oh, is that what you mean? Well, that's what I've come to learn about okay. posies. Okay. Well, that's a good answer. What kind of toys do you collect? I love SpongeBob. I collect Spongebob stuff. Plankton is my favorite character from Spongebob. Why do you and like Plankton so much? Because he's tiny, and he has one eye, and he's, and he's evil. But funny. But he, and he's funny evil. Oh. He's not grumpy. Oh, yeah, he is very grumpy. And I like Pee-wee stuff. Pee-wee's Playhouse. Pee-wee merchandise. Yeah, Pee-wee merchandise. I have a lot of stuff from the 80s. <laughs> and oh yeah, I have a lot of toys that you make. Oh yeah, <laughs> I make toys sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's all. Oh. Any, to take a bath now. Any further information you'd like to give out? Um, you could go on my website, www.pocketfullofposies with a z at the end dot com. You can get me on MySpace. Actually, it's MySpace, but it's Queenie X. I don't know what's before I. And I know, whatever. Just search. Yeah, search Popcorn Do you have any upcoming events? Or oh, events? yes! If you're in the North Hollywood area, you'd go to the CIA Fright Night. Go to FrightNightLA.com. Right? Dot com. It's not dot net. I don't know. Just search for Fright Night. And probably. I will be showing my artwork there, selling my doll and prints and t-shirts and all the stuff that we showed. And there will be a uh, creepy band and cheesy movies, 50s and 60s movies. And, and I'm going to be at the Hyena Gallery, but that's not until June. 
but I'll have the info on my website. June 6th, I believe, it's a Saturday. And Showing with two other artists. Look for Pop from Prosies merchandise. At Hot Topic. At Hot Topic. And the October Toys booth at Comic Con. Yes. Find a few things there. And I guess that's it. That's it. Thanks for the fab interview. I hope it was fab. It's super fab. This is super fab. It's Uber. Are you comfortable? In a lovely bathroom. Are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. Is that it? I guess so. Goodbye. <laughs>Brand new, one of a kind, there it is. Made yeah. by October Toys. Hair styled by Queenie. Yeah, personally <laughs> styled. Very cool. So here's what you do. Go to her site, pocketfullofposies.com, which we'll be reviewing in a moment. Check out all the posy characters that you can see and admire and say how cool those are. And then head over to the uh, Toy Break forums and post which posy you would like to see next. Lilionia has already being, been made. And Pansy, no, Pansy the pirate. is being made, so what do you think should be next? Let us know. And again, just for posting, we will pick someone at random, random person. from all of the posts in the forum, and uh, that person will win the doll. There Free you go. Doll. Win. $20, $20 retail value? It's a good prize. 26 Plush, Plush doll, vinyl head? Yep, sculpted by me, because I'm cool. <laughs> well, part. sculpted by you at least. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, let's move on to our featured site, which is the site you should visit for the contest. Pocketful of Posies. Pocketful of Posies. Com. Sorry, sweetie. This is the front page. Cute, cute, cute Delilah with adorable pink hair. She has her own Lilionia doll that she loves. Pink is awesome. On the inside of this adorable website... Wait a minute, you like pink? No. Hot <laughs> pink. Pink. I didn't know you were a fan of pink. Of course. Everybody loves the pink. The pink? No, pink. The band? Let's not get <laughs> disgusting. Alright, there's the doll. Adorable doll in Lilyonia in cartoon form. You go to meet the posies and see all of the fantastic, adorable characters. You just hit next. And that's how you scroll through the posies. See, I've been to this site. Next, <laughs> adorable little characters, Delphinia and her bats, Pansy and her cat, Larceny, Sapphira, tons of adorable characters. Well, you get the point. There's plenty of characters. Scroll through them all. Find out which ones you like. Fall in love with one. Tell us which one you like the best. Yes, you decide what you'd like to see produced. We have little quick time videos, cool little funny videos, get to know the posies a little bit better. Adorable little loading symbol, everybody loves those. Look at it point. <laughs> it's loading. You can make up your own voices for them. You, you have to add the dialogue. Well, the dialogue's there. Well, you, you have to... Uh, You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I probably <laughs> won't. That's what she sounds like, I'm sure. Everyone was grumpy. Anyways! <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying! And uh, scary. But there's plenty of cool stuff to check out on the site. There's also merchandise. Plenty of merchandise available now at Hot Topic. Prints and stickers, pins, t shirts available on the site. Order directly. You don't feel like leaving your house if you're shut in. Like me. <laughs> about fun stuff? Fun stuff's fun. You could send a posy e-card. It's neat, huh? Everybody loves those. How about icons? How about them? 
That's pretty there cool. You can have icons for your buddy icons or desktop icons or whatever you need an icon for. There you have it. All of your posy needs. Also in free downloads. They're free. And they're downloads. Not misleading at all. There's a bunch of um, the Halloween art. Wallpapers for your desktop. A link to the MySpace page. Check it out. Pockfullposies.com. P O S I E Z. Don't misspell it. How do you spell full? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Pockfullposies.com. Good cool. times. Good times indeed. What up All next? Right. Events. <laughs> that was awesome. We should do that every show. <laughs> what do we do with one, two, three? <laughs> Okay. Okay, um, my pal Sookie Lala. That is a solo show by Hello Brute, uh, also known as John Knox Griffin. That's going to be at Roto Fuji in Chicago. Hello that, Brute. <laughs> that actually opened a couple days ago, um, right. February 2nd through February 24th. And you can get more info at rotofuji.com. Next one? Uh, the For Love of Money show. It's a collection of custom monies, and it's at the Bear and Bird Gallery in Tate's Comics in Lauder Hill, Florida. February 3rd through March 10th. You can get information on that at baronbird.com. In the bane of my existence, Toy Fair! <laughs> <laughs> some reason, everybody in the toy industry goes every year, and for some reason, everybody in the toy industry has no idea when it is. It's an excuse to go to New York. I it's guess. at the same time every year, <laughs> yet everyone forgets. In the snow. Wants me to sculpt their project <laughs> the night before while inside a FedEx box on my way to their showroom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's going to be cool. And then a week and a half after that is New York Comic Con, the second uh, annual. And we hope that's going to be awesome, February 23rd through 25th at the Javits Center. I hope they stop making toy-related conventions sometime. We have plenty. Why? No, we don't. Just Our job re revolves around toy-related no conventions. <laughs> There's so we many Comic Cons, these. there's so many Toy Fairs. This show would be boring if we couldn't talk about Toy Fair and Comic Cons. It'd just be you talking about what you Madness hate. never stops. We used to get a break between Toy Fair New York and Comic Con San Diego. No, now there's, there's just so now many there's 40 other in conventions in between. In between. So New York Comic Con, is. Uh, you can find out more information at nycomiccon.com. And tickets are actually sold out online for Saturday. But Friday and, uh, Friday and Sunday are still open, and I think you can get um, full three-day passes still. So hurry up and get your tickets, because they sold out last year. And George and I are going to be at both Toy Fair and New York Comic Con, so we will bring you all the news, reviews, and interviews that we can find. And shoes and blues clues. <laughs> and pews. How about a little uh, UK action? Um, March 4th through April 4th at the Tobacco Factory in Bristol, England will be Higher Court. Uh, that features art from Huck G, Dr. A, Sket One, Mimic, and Play School. Uh, you can check out TobaccoFactory.com for more information. At the same time as that show is also Money Shot. Which is an awesome name for a show. The Money Shot. <laughs> uh, also in the Tobacco Factory, obviously. It's a collection of customized monies, and they will be judged, and the top ones will be auctioned off for charity. So, two shows for the price of one. Or, I guess, the price of driving there. And the price <laughs> if I have to be in the UK to go. And, um... If you're going to make a weekend out of it in March, March 5th through 31st at the Severn Shed in Bristol, England, is po by popular demand, also featuring the art of Huck G, Dr. A, Sket One, Mimic, and Play School. And you can find out more at severnshed.co.uk. Two shows at one time with all different art. That's a full weekend. They had to be really busy making yeah. a lot of custom toys. Huck G, Dr. A, Sket One, Mimic, and Play School must have been very busy. Yes. For months. I think that's about it. So uh, <laughs> visit toybreak.com for show notes on this episode, past episodes. Check out the past episodes. Go to the forum. Uh, join the contest. Tell us how cute we are. Leonia. <laughs> write to us because we have nothing better to do. Um, send us information at info at toybreak.com. Send us uh, show information you have coming up. Toy, toy related releases. information. If you've, Stuff you want to see. If you've done ideas. a cool custom and you want people to see it or... You have a new product coming out. You want people to know about it. Or if you have a question. Send us a question. Send us questions. Sure. We love it. So uh, that's it. Episode four. Wrapping it up. We'll see you after toy break in New York Comic Con. After toy fair. See you. That, that one too. <laughs>
It takes a minute. <laughs> Would you like to talk about this? We're going to edit that out. What? 